my little baby bunty good morning viewers sun is shining um i'm going to meet badger and try and go door knocking this afternoon uh wishes luck i've had an absolute horrible morning can't talk about it but i've been heartbroken this morning it's fuck all i can do about it and i can't talk about it either but anyway i've got to try and be positive got to try and get some new land so i can dig some cool shit so i can make some videos to entertain me and you and uh yeah just keep on digging in it viewers before i go out into the great green yonder that is the british isles i would just like to say two words about putin fuck you so we're door knocking today viewers and i'm in badger's car and i've he's gone to the first one because it's near his house and i think i've jinxed it by saying half the time they're never in because he's walking back up now viewers let's see if he can uh, see anybody on the property last seen wandering around various sheds areas now areas so so yeah i'm just co coaching badger and i think i jinxed it by saying half the time you never can find any is that the case badge nobody in nobody in right on to the next years this is a random hit and run one now so i will go and do this one well viewers i've since knocked up three properties one lovely farm i was very busy looks like he's got a lot of land uh, but it's all arable he's told me to come back in september so that's a big bonus uh the other guy only had four acres and he had horses so uh, that was a no and uh, the other place there was nobody about but yeah we're just at uh, this like country business park unit thing and uh, looking for the owner because there's land attached to all this i've sent badger on this area there he goes look around the corner he's just spoke to a couple there this is all beauty stuff there is a farm shop here somewhere and the cafe well me and Bunty are enjoying this door knocking experience today viewers simply because I'm very rusty at it and just to have a nice chat with the first farmer who said come back later in the year it's all positive and this is Badge's first experience of door knocking is it Badge? For metal detecting yes I'm sure I've knocked on a few doors in my time Oh yeah what for parties and stuff okay. Yeah well, yeah, it's all good viewers, and I encourage you all to get out with your dogs and your badgers and go and knock on some doors, and it can lead to amazing permissions. And also, what people tend to forget is some of these landowners and farmers end up being really good friends going forward. Let's just press the bell that says sight bell or something. Don't look. This looks more like a chicken farm, and we don't want to do chicken sheds. But you never know what we've got. I really think the bell works. What What would you have done if a headless chicken had to come out? Take me to KFC. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bad. He's found somebody, Bunt. He's He's talking to somebody at this little farm right by his house. And it's a nice young chap, so hopefully we get a lead. Hopefully, Bunt. He's asking him about his history and that. So me and Bunty ended up getting out of the car as well and speaking to that nice young couple viewers who live at, uh, well, live and work at an organics place. It's only 12 acres, but we're going to get in touch with the landowner and if she's half as nice as a workers, we'll probably get that and it's right local to Badger and uh, yeah you just don't know with these small holdings and these smaller places sometimes they're the ones that have never seen a metal detector and they can still have the Roman hotspots on 
So that's another encouraging sign. Well, we're certainly seeing some country lanes today, viewers. Been out for a bit now, but you don't always get the opportunity to come across the farmer. We're gonna go and try a few other spots a few miles down the road. Yeah, but we're going to try the uh, free range eggs place down here. I don't even know whether it's a farm, viewers. But if you don't go and have a look, you'll never find out. Well, I just knocked on a very big farm, very local to me. I can't believe I've not actually knocked on that farm in the past, but I think what must have happened a few years ago, about three years ago, I did knock down that lane and I got a few small permissions on that lane but they were only small, they weren't the proper farms. That farm I've just knocked out viewers, it's got loads and loads of fields on my doorstep. Uh, the old lady who lived there, she told me to come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow and try and catch a husband. She said there has been plenty of metal detectorists go over it. But you know what, it's on my doorstep and I could get out there as and when and they won't have found it all. Well, the back of the mill house now, and I'm just feeling pumped. Just good to get back out, knocking on farmers' doors, and just to see some smiling, friendly faces, uh, just people giving you the nod and telling you the farmer doesn't live at that house no more, but he lives down the lane. Just people still smiling, just because you're asking this question, some people get hung up on door knocking and really if you just go and do a fair bit of it eventually you can end up getting some cool permissions viewers well, back at the lovely mill house anyway uh, so yeah i've got one definite for september we've got one call back uh, we spoke to their lovely workers uh, it's only a little 12 acre organic place but i don't care it's always good to get out one definite for September, one call back on Monday, and one the big farm on the doorstep. The old lady said, come back tomorrow and catch a husband. That wasn't a no. She did crimple her face up a bit and say, oh, we've had plenty of people here in the past. I don't care. It's on the doorstep, and those detectorists will not have found it all. So... I might be able to get that one tomorrow as well. So yeah, it's been a good day, viewers. The water's dropped a fair bit here at the mill. It was encroaching all over that side last time I was here. It soaked away from in, in the garden. And another positive note. Um, I've just managed to put my car in for its MOT on Monday. Uh, I'm hoping the money I got from selling a Deus One coil will cover the MOT, but you just never know, do you, viewers? You just never know with MOTs. Uh, so hopefully we can keep the Honda Jazz coming. Massive, massive thank you to each and every one of my lovely viewers who have been supporting the channel lately on my Ko-Fi link that I put in the uh, pinned comment because uh, yeah I'm a bit in a rock and a hard place at the minute and I don't want to get down and a little bit of support from my viewers has been going a long way so God bless your viewers don't forget to like comment and subscribe and uh, I'll see you out in them fields finding the cool cool stuff very soon I might even go out tomorrow but I'll certainly be out over the weekend so good luck to you all out over this weekend.